Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Celine. And my name's Caitlin. And we're gonna be taking you through a Pilates exercise today. So Pilates is really all about the core. It's about feeling the muscles engage and being very aware of how your body is feeling. So when we talk about the core, we mean the abdominal muscles, we mean the lower back, we mean the glutes, and we mean the hips. So when you do every movement in Pilates, it's really all about feeling those muscles engage and making sure that you're aware of what's going on. And this whole exercise is going to be done on a mat. So all you really need is either a mat or a soft surface. And if you feel so inclined, water, a towel, and a positive attitude. So we're gonna get started on the mat. So first, what I want you to do is get on, like feel your, get into this position and really start to bring awareness to your body. So when we talk about Pilates, you wanna feel like your spine is being lengthened and you wanna feel like your belly button has a connection to your spine. So you can draw your core in to really feel the muscles contract and feel supported. So to get started, we're just going to go through an ab prep series. So I want you guys to roll on your back, and if you feel like you can, go down one vertebrae at a time, and just, you know, make contact with the ground. So to get started with ab prep, I want you to guys bring awareness to your belly button, to your spine, to so the belly button to spine action, and I want you to feel your core engage. So what this is going to mean is bring your lower back to the ground, feel like your pelvis is tilting back, and when we do the movement, you're gonna bring your chin to your chest and roll up. So let me demonstrate the movement for you with me and Caitlin. So engage your core, it's called imprinting, so imprint, and then chin to chest, and then I want you to rise up. So this is ab prep. So we're gonna go through this five times. Now, if you feel any neck strain, you can always feel free to use one hand just to gently grab your neck and just be there to support yourself. But you really wanna feel your core engaging. So let's roll back down and go through that process five more times. Okay. So chin to chest, ab prep. And then roll back down. That was one. And ab prep. Roll back down. Two. Ab prep. Roll back down. Three. Ab prep. Roll back down. And ab prep. And again, you can grab your neck if this is straining to you. Roll back down. Perfect. Now, this wouldn't be a Pilates class if we didn't go through the hundred. So when you do this movement and also throughout the rest of the workout, you want to keep on going to that imprinted position. So lower back to the mat, core engaged, and really feel supported. So what we're going to do is bring your legs up into tabletop, and you're going to have your hands out in front of you, and you're just gonna pump your arms. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, you can always bring your legs back down, but the important part is to feel the core engaged in that imprinted prep position. So, and it is 100, yes, you can do it, but if you feel uncomfortable, you can always put your legs on the ground. Okay, so we're gonna get started counting from zero up to 100. Okay, and so lower back to the ground, chin to chest. I'm gonna do legs and tabletop, okay. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 
21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Keep pumping. I'm still counting. We're going through this together. I'm with you. 60, 70, 80. <laughs> so I'm, I lost count there for a minute. Let's say that we're at 80. 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, almost there. 91, 92, 93. And that's 100. You can bring your legs back down, roll back down. Awesome. So that is all core, all just feeling your breath move through you, feeling the connection to your core. But the core isn't just about your abs, it's also about your back. So we're going to sit up and we're going to roll back onto our stomachs and we're going to try to focus on our lower back. So what we're first gonna do is we're going to hover. So what I really wanna see is, you're not going to engage your glutes just yet, you're really gonna focus on just your lower back. So you're gonna lie down, bring your, just bring yourself onto your mat, and put both of your hands over your forehead, okay? Now don't engage your glutes throughout this whole thing. It's really a small movement, you just wanna feel your lower back engaging, and you're gonna bring your head up. And that's just, you're going to hover. So we're just going to do this, if you feel get, get in this position, and just hold here. And focus on your lower back, bringing awareness into your core, breathing through it, and focusing on the, the muscles in your back. They're there to support you, but you also have to be able to focus on them. So we're just gonna stay here for a bit. And now we're gonna go back down. And we're gonna do that one more time, okay? So three, two, one, hover. All right, Roll, go back down slowly. Okay, now for this next exercise, it's going to be a similar awareness. You wanna feel your lower back, but this time you're also going to engage your glute muscles. So you're going to uh, feel yourself go up more so. You can get a greater range of motion by engaging your glutes. So come back down, and when we say go, we're gonna hover, but this time feel your glutes engaged. So hover. and release. One more time. Hover, and release. Okay, so we're gonna do the Pilates arrow. So what I want you guys to do is bring your arms to the side, and I want you to have your arms glued to the sides of your legs. Now, when we do it this time, your head's gonna come up off the floor and your legs are gonna come up off the floor. And what you need to focus on is squeezing your lower back and squeezing your glute, your glute, mu glute, mus glute muscles off the floor, but go at your own pace. And you also wanna have your arms glued to your sides. So three, two, one, arrow. So your face is off the floor, you're looking down at the mat, you're not looking up, you're not feeling any strain on your neck, and you're focusing on squeezing your glute muscles. And down. One more time. Pilates arrow. And you wanna focus on breathing, you wanna focus on keeping your shoulders back, and you wanna make sure that you're not looking sideways, you're not looking up, you're not looking back, you're just focusing your gaze on the mat and come back down. Okay, so that was your lower back. Now we're gonna go back up onto our mat. So I want you guys to sit up, feel, try to feel, you know, how you feel differently. Again, Pilates is all about feeling the muscles engage. So 
What we're going to do now is another core e exercise. So get back into the position that we were at the beginning. So we're going to roll, we're going to roll back on our backs. And if you feel any strain in this movement, again, you can always support your neck. But what's really important is to have your lower back connecting with the mat. You're gonna bring your chin to your chest and you're just gonna hug one of your legs into yourself. And then you're gonna keep the other leg extended. So bring one leg in. Again, feel a connection of your lower back into the mat and you want your chin to your chest as you gently extend the other leg out in front. And this is the single leg stretch. And when I say go, you're just gonna switch. And then when I say go, you're just gonna switch. And when I say go, you're just gonna switch. And you can do that at your own pace. If you wanna hold your neck, you can feel more than likely. Try not to do this if you feel any strain in your knee. And you can always just hold, use both of your hands to support your leg if you feel it's necessary. So get into this position. And we're gonna try to do this 10 times, okay? So this is one, switch, one, switch, two, switch, switch, three, switch, three, switch, four, switch, switch, five, <laughs> switch. Again, you wanna focus on having your lower back switch, connecting to the ground, feeling your core, this is seven, switch, switch, eight, switch, switch, this is nine, switch, one more each side, switch, and one more, switch. Perfect, now you can release. Whew. Okay, so the next movement, I want you guys to sit up. Just make your way up top, and I want you to spread your legs as far as you feel comfortable. Make connection with the ground, feel your glutes supporting you, and feel your core, feel your spine lengthening. And I want you guys to just put your arms out to the side, and when, I, when you feel ready, you just twist and you go and you try to touch your toe. If you can't touch your toe, that's perfectly fine. If you just want to go a little bit, that's also okay. If you just want to twist, that's also fine. And this is the Pilates saw. So, neutral. And twist, saw. Neutral. Twist, saw. Neutral. Twist, saw, neutral. Twist, saw, neutral. Now what are your goals here? Twist, saw, neutral. Your goals is to keep your torso lengthened. Twist, saw, neutral. To feel your glutes supporting you. Twist, saw, neutral. And to always feel your core supporting you the whole time. Twist, saw, neutral. This is a great stretch for your hips. Twist, saw, neutral. And we're also gaining strength in our core. Twist, saw, neutral. Perfect. Now we have one more movement for you guys. And we're gonna go back into our uh, first position. And this is really about your glute muscles, the glute portion of your core. So I want you guys to roll back down onto your mat. Again, lower back connecting with the mat. And when you're ready, you're just going to push through your heels, squeeze your glutes, make sure that your core is tight, and just come up into a bridge and hold. You're gonna feel your hamstrings engaging. You're gonna feel your lower back but you don't want to put pressure on your head. You want to feel all this, you want to feel supported by your shoulders because you're making a strong connection with the mat. And you want to feel like all the energy is coming up through your heels into your glutes. 
Now we're gonna come back down and do that two more times, okay? So again, tight core, lower back to the mat, and just come up, and you wanna breathe. And come back down. One more time, so core, squeeze, and come up. And down, perfect. That's all I have for you guys. Uh, we're gonna say thank you to Kaylin for being the model with me. And I hope you guys got something out of this. And um, I guess you can look at our other videos. Thank you. Thank you.